It was a season to remember. A season of two halves. A season you couldn't script. At first, I'd complete dominance with the confidence and competence to manage. Six wins out of the first eight races. I was way out ahead. But we have won the first race of the season. So there we go, guys. We have won the Malaysian Grand Prix. We've won the Monaco Grand Prix. We have finished the Canadian Grand Prix in first. We're going to make it. I think this is our sixth win of the season, I think. Home soil, I cracked. At Germany, more frustration followed. And at Hungary, it seemed my Red Bull and I were on our knees. My rivals were closing in. Belgium and Italy would follow, starting from the back of the grid in both races. But that wouldn't stop me. In a damp Belgium, I climbed back up to fifth. On an Italian soil, I climbed from zero to hero and won the race. This was short-lived, however. A DNF in Singapore and bad performances in Japan and Korea and I was on a three non-point finish streak when going into the roller coaster that was a 100% race in India. It was a hectic race, but the ultimate outcome was a fourth non-points finish. It looked like I might have just thrown this title away, but I came back fighting guns ablaze in Abu Dhabi in USA and took it back to my rivals. And now it comes down to this. Hamilton leads me by two points and closely behind me of the two Mercedes and my teammate Mark Webber. After a long season, five potential world champions take to Brazil for one final dramatic finale. Lights, camera, action. And so we are here for the Brazilian Grand Prix guys. It's the finale of my F1 2012 season two with Red Bull career mode. And we're here, and uh, we qualified in third place. It was a very, very close qualifying. I'm actually talking hundredths of a second. Uh, I think the top three, which was Rosberg, Hamilton, and me, were separated by five hundredths of a second. That is some close shit. So, yeah, it was very, very close. I'm in third place. My main rival, Lewis Hamilton, who's leading by two points, is uh, in second and Rosberg's in first so we're gonna have to make it a good race we're on normal fuel strategy we're gonna be pitting lap eight I was thinking and this is gonna have to be a good race this this decides it this is the the final countdown this is it guys we're here at Interlagos and for the final time in this career mode we're gonna be lining up for five red lights one two three four five and we are off here for the final time in the career mode and we get an okay start we jump hamilton we're on the side of rosberg we're gonna battle him wheel to wheel here gonna leave him some room obviously don't want to knock him off i'm gonna come through into the back straight gonna use some cars obviously on the straight we're three wide me hamilton rosberg and we just get through. And me and Rosberg going wheel to wheel. I've taken the lead of the Grand Prix here, have I? Rosberg squeezing him. Going to come into the corner. And I'm going to take first place from him. And I'm leading this Grand Prix. So now we're going to cut later on to lap four. Hamilton is coming back at me. Button has overtaken Rosberg. So now the two McLarens are right next to me. Hamilton has overtaken me. He's got DRS. He's stormed past. And it looks like I come back to him. I come back at him, but it's no use. He storms away. So right now, Hamilton is leading the championship. I was until that point. So this is crucial for the championship. I'm going to try and overtake Hamilton yet again. Obviously, I said I was going to pit lap eight. But we've gone wide here. And Jensen Button is coming down the inside. He's squeezed past. Wow, I'm losing places left and right. So now we're coming back at Jensen Button to, at lap five now. We're going to go around the outside into turn one. And we made the move done. And we've overtaken Jensen Button. So now we've got to go off to Lewis. And we've got all the way to lap seven. And I'm catching Lewis Hamilton here. This is going to be for the World Championship. I come into the pits one lap early. I make a daring move and decide to try and undercut him there. So I'm going to come into the pits. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, make it a good pit stop. Let's see what you got. It's the last one of the season. Oh, well, screw you. Four seconds. That is pathetic. But we're going to continue anyway. It's lap nine. And look at it. The game's been trolling me. I thought for a second it was going to rain. But no, it's just really, really cloudy. God is just angry. It's put a blanket over this race. So... The race is gloomy at this point. There's a bit of pathetic fallacy going on as the race is really dark and heavy and something. You can just feel it in the air, can't you guys? You can feel it. You can cut the tension with a knife. Something 
is, is something's going to happen. Something's got to budge. I've taken first place from Hamilton. But it can't be that simple, can it? I mean, it can't. So we're coming through to these next sections. As I said, the weather is quite do uh, gloom and doom here. And is it going to spell pathetic fallacy? Yes, it is. I lock up both sides. Go wide. Lewis Hamilton comes up the inside in the normal racing line. He overtakes me for first place. But now we've got all the way to lap 16. I've finally managed to get some pace on these tyres and come back at Hamilton. We're going to try around the outside of the corner into the first corner here. We're going to break hard nice and early. And now we're going to try and come through. We're going to leave Hamilton obviously in space. Proximity arrows going everywhere. And we have not made that pass done. Rosberg's right behind me. But I'm going to try and chase Hamilton yet again. And as we come down the inside of him on lap 17, he ruins his championship. Hamilton has gone off. And I'm in first place here. I'm going to win. But no. On the last lap. Drama. Rosberg overtakes me with DRS powers past me. It's, it's no use. Surely. Surely. Rosberg will win the championship now. It's no use. I can't do it on the last lap. I dive it down the inside in the last sector. We're going side by side, wheel to wheel with Nico Rosberg. I'm going to give him some room. I'm going to cut down the inside and undercut him. And now I'm going to dive it down the inside. And we're still not touching. Going to be some clean, lovely racing here. Going to side by side. Going to use the curves. And I overtake Rosberg on the last lap of the last corner of the last Grand Prix of the season. To take first place and to take the World Drivers' Championship. We are double world champions. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was some tense shit right there. Haha. <laughs> Guys, please give this video a like. Favourite the crap out of it. If not for the race, just for the intro. I put a lot of effort into that intro, by the way. That dramatic intro took me about an hour of editing and recording to do just that two-minute intro. So give it a like for that. But also the race, what a dramatic end to Season 2 with Red Bull. And we've won the Drivers' Championship. Unfortunately, same can't be said of the Constructors. We have lost the Constructors. But for me, the glory is in the Drivers. Unfortunate for Red Bull there. We lose it by four points. It's actually Mark Webber's fault. If Mark Webber, my teammate, picked up the pace, maybe we could have won it. But there you go. I've won the drivers. That's what I'm... Well, that's what I care about. Oh, two in a row. Two in a row. Double world champions. That is... Uh, that is that's great. That's great. So happy with that. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the whole series. Please give this video a like again. As I said, favourite the crap out of it. And share it with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. Because this has been a great episode of Career Mode. And uh, this is what this is what F1's all about. Dramatic stuff like this. Let's watch the podium. Well, not podium. Podium sort of celebration here. As I clap my way and my team celebrate on. As I win the World Championship. Yeah, there I am in my Red Bull. And here I am. Getting out of my car. As a double World Champion. Same thing happened last time in Season 1. And now I've done it again. But even more dramatic, I feel. As it was done on the last lap. Of the last... The last corner. Of the last lap, sorry. Of the last Grand Prix. Of the last race of the season. So now... what What's to come? Well, obviously, guys, I've told you that I'm going to be taking a break from career mode. As lately, the views on career mode have been going down and down. Um, not just for me, a lot of people actually, and uh, I just don't see the reason to continue it too much if people aren't going to watch it. And so basically I'm going to take a break, for him, a break from it, and I emphasize break, because, you know, I'm going to bring it back in summer, just before F1 2013 comes out. So let's look at the stats of my career. I've got 14 pole positions, surprisingly 14 wins, although those 14 wins did not come on those 14 poles. 22 fastest laps, quite surprising, I thought I would have got more. Averaging finishing position, only five. Wow. And rivals beaten, only one out of two, obviously. I didn't beat Lewis Hamilton. So, also, getting on to contracts. You guys haven't been... I haven't been telling you about contracts. But, obviously, I didn't beat Lewis Hamilton, my rival. So, I did not get a contract offer from McLaren like I wanted. And there you go. Congrats. I've won the World Championship. Thank you very much. So, I can either renew my contract with Red Bull here. Or, I can sign with Force India. I'm not going to be signing with Caterham or Marussia, as you can see there. Because I've got my road to glory for that. 
So, guys, I want you guys to comment below. Should I re-sign with Red Bull for another season or sign up with Force India? Force India will become a midfield team once again in Season 3 of this career mode. So, there'll be a mid-table pack. So, it will be work, but I could still potentially win one or two races with Force India, like I did in Season 1 with Toro Rosso. Um, so, comment below, and I will, uh, I'll, I'll favourite this video myself. And come back to it when I start to record my season 3 in the summer. I'll come back to it. Check the comments below what you guys want. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Give it a like again. Subscribe if you're new for weekly F1. Comment below and share it. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I've been Arafa. And I'll see you guys next time.